I am Eric Emanuel. For those that don't know, I'm formerly known on the internet as Tubby Emu. Yeah, yeah, I was up to 500 pounds. But here's the thing that I want to keep people going with. You're probably feeling down. Cody Rhodes just got the hell beat out of him, man. For a year, he was untouchable. And your friends are probably sitting there telling you the thing you don't want to hear right now. You know what I'm talking about. Your friend that's over there like, you don't understand. Cody Rhodes needs adversity. Cody Rhodes needs to be knocked down a peg. Now, meanwhile, you're over there. You're just a Cody Rhodes fan. You don't care about anything else. It's like this set. Ready? It's like you just got to get past the adversity. Do you want to do it? No. But you're going to do it. Slow, controlled, pushing up. Now, the thing that really gets me going with this Cody Rhodes storyline, for me personally, is knowing I think there's something bigger happening. Listen, Cody Rhodes is eventually going to win the WWE World title. Because why? It's WWE. And if you think they're not going to go out and try to make as much money as possible, if you don't think, then it put them into the ground. If you don't think they're not going to eventually have a payoff, I'm a little worried for you. Because here's the thing. What if Cody Rhodes wasn't even going to be in the match? What if it was going to be AJ Styles if he didn't get injured? Think of all the people that Roman has beat. Think of all the matches we still have yet to go. WWE right now is producing some amazing television when it comes to their big stars. And I know you're probably upset. I listened to the first time to Busted Open Radio. Does anybody listen to Busted Open Radio? It's a thing. I have a, a, a rental car, and it's got Sirius, and I'm busted 156 on Sirius XM. I usually just hear guys like Raw Showtime, shout outs to you, Matt, uh, complain about Bully Ray, but I'm listening to these dudes like Dave LaGreca and realizing when it comes to this storyline, man, there's so much emotion going on. There isn't a right and there isn't a wrong. There is when you do a set like this, because if you do it wrong, you're going to do it wrong. And unfortunately, you get people in life that watch you, and they hawk you, and they're telling you what you should or shouldn't like. Well, you know what? Be like me. Just get in the gym, and think about it, and then ask yourself, are you really that upset? Like, let's say this Cody Rhodes thing has got you bummed, right? Are you going to go out of your way and watch another company? Nah, probably not. Are you going to stop watching WWE? Maybe. Because let's be honest, if you really wanted Cody Rhodes to be your champion and he's not, and you feel like they squandered it, and you're on Twitter and you're visibly upset, man, damn, dude, I, more power to you. That was me. <laughs> Can we roll the cliffs? Me and Fastlane, me and 2011, 2012, 2013, 2014. Anytime I didn't get my way, I would complain. And I don't want to sit here and like get people to like, crap on other fans and try to like tell them what to think. But what time is a WWE fan? Could anything happen? Genuinely, like Logan Paul comes in, does amazing. Snoop Dogg calls a match on a fly because a quad blows. And now you have this bloodline storyline, which has been going on over three years, going back seven, eight years. Even Cody saying, this didn't start paying off till year eight. Well, now that it's paying off, aren't you going to ride it until it's it's in the dirt? And especially if you're a Cody Rhodes fan. Like, this is the best part. I didn't even get to it, right? You're at the meat of the set. This is the big part, all right? You wanted Cody Rhodes to become champion. You didn't want to get told by that friend who's on the other side, he needs to go through some adversity. And you're like, no, he doesn't. Oh, what more storyline does he need? He left and started a company. He did. And then he, like, made a big deal. And he came back. And then he lost. Unlike Drew McIntyre, who did the same thing. But Drew didn't come back and squander the Roman Empire of a 900-day title reign. <laughs> he didn't. Cody Rhodes is going to eventually come out with that Hard Times promo, and you're going to get behind him. And I don't want to tell you right now to just suck it up and go along for the ride. If you stop watching WWE, great. Then, do stuff like this. Have some fun. Get out there and try some new stuff. Because... Oftentimes when I think about WWE and I get the most upset, or truly you wonder, is WWE ever going to give me the payoff I wanted? Well, 
The Raw after WrestleMania left Cody Rhodes laying in the ring. And what better swerve? Why did nobody come out to save Cody Rhodes? Think about that. Why did nobody come out? There are so many unanswered questions. Nobody came out. Brock Lesnar, let's rewind this back a little bit. Paul Heyman at one point told the Usos, we don't need you, man. Get on the jet. Why? Does, does Paul Heyman still have a connection to Brock Lesnar? The fan theories, listening to Busted Open about Triple H and whew, maybe Triple H sent him. And they're like, they're not going to go out to a storyline for three years ago on the AEW television. LeGrec is saying. And I agree. But right now, guys, the possibilities are endless. Anything can happen in the WWE. Cody Rhodes almost had a tag team match with Brock Lesnar. We almost got to see Brock Lesnar on Monday Night Raw Wrestle. Like, think about that. But now, over the course of the next year, what's going to happen to little old Cody Rhodes? Is he going to pick himself up by the bootstraps? Is he going to be pissed? Maybe he comes out and wallows and wishes he hadn't left the company. And then all of his friends rag on him now. And they build those storylines. And then WWE secretly captures all those headlines. So when he eventually does win next year, and they go, see, he proved all the doubters wrong. Or hell, maybe my theory that Seth Rollins is eventually going to be the one to beat Roman Reigns and it's never going to be Cody Rhodes. Cody will eventually win the title, I don't know. But just thinking about what could happen and realizing I can't change what's in the now, I can go to the show and cheer, but it's not going to change their overall storyline. That's the thing that makes me happy now. I can just shut off my brain. Thanks to the internet's Rick Rubin. The internet's Rick Rubin. That's going to become a meme. Rick, thanks for keeping me straight as a WWE fan. For those who don't know, man, get Rick Rubin's book. I'm going to listen to it. Rick Rubin's a lifelong WWE fan, and the way he watches wrestling, I think, is the way I watch wrestling. and just brought me a whole new perspective. i got to get back to the set. We're going to finish up. Now, we're not doing a lot of weight. We're just kind of going to get those contractions down and then push up. Breathe down. Push up. Breathe down. Push up. Breathe down, push up. Just like Cody Rhodes is going to do when this dude, from the bottom to the top, you can bet on Rhodes. I got to get out of here. We're not letting this video hit eight minutes. No minerals on this sucker. Until next time, Eric Emanuel, what do you guys want to see for Cody Rhodes? Is he going to overcome it? Is he going to do it? Or is he going to fall just a little bit short? Just like this video.